I've been putting this off for a month. Just today, I've been putting it off for hours, and just now that everything's set up, I'm like, I'm not ready to do this. I don't know what the fuck my problem is, I just can't get started, so I'm gonna get started. But I don't have a lighter, so I'll be right back. Computer. Turn the bench light on. Okay. Oh, now you can see me. Lame. Anyway, uh, this is the Bograndr frame release video. It's The frame has been out for a month or so, but I'm taking a cue from Schizo and not releasing the video about it until a month later because it seems to be working out. Just dive right into it. This is it. This is the Bot 5 frame from BQE. It is a 5 inch freestyle frame meant for destructive flying, for urban environments, for hitting trees, for all that fucking crazy shit you want to do. It features a one piece bottom plate. A lot of people have replaceable arms. We decided to go with a one piece bottom plate. This is Torre T700 carbon. Uh, the word butter comes to mind. One piece bottom plate, one piece top plate. You see that? So easy. So fucking easy. You take this thing and this thing and you put standoffs on it and you have a thing, right? You just take this thing, take this thing, take the standoffs, you have a quad. Pretty, pretty fucking simple build right there. What else do you get besides this sweet bag that I heard holds up to a QP? You get the top and bottom plate. Hardware things that have uh, washers. Where's it? You get some 3D mounted parts like the as a camera, the cam mounts, and the VTX and receiver wire holders. You get some antenna tubes. So that's cool. I feel like all the frames will come with antenna tubes. You get some cool. Cool stickers there. And you get this bot grinder head. Carbon fiber bot grinder head with a convenient hole on top to make a lovely necklace for your wife or girlfriend. Or you can put it on a keychain. Or you could throw it away. You can really do whatever you want with it. Because once you buy it, that shit's yours. The specs? Let's talk some fucking specs, dog. This is a 230 motor to motor. 230. I think it's like 235 actually, but you know, whatever. 230 fucking sized frame. One piece bottom plate, one piece top plate, we've gone through that. It has so many fucking options. Right here on the front, you have 30 by 30 and 20 by 20 mounting holes. So if you want to do a 2020 stack, you can. 2020s are getting pretty popular. You can do regular 3030s, like the normal size flight controllers will say. In the back though, more mounting holes. You have 2020 and 1616. So really, this was designed if you wanted to put, uh, if you wanted to put like a split mini in it, you could mount your uh, split right here at the camera, and you put your flight controller in the back. Mounting options, part two. Bottom mount? What the fuck on this thing? Top mount? What the fuck? So you can top mount like normal, or if you like running bottom mount, which I do on my 210s, we have the option to run bottom mount right there, which I do every now and then. I'll throw a battery underneath it because I like the roll characteristics of bottom mounts. Excuse me. Oh, this one out, son of a bitch. These little arms right here, 100% guaranteed to cut through your tree limbs, or your, not your money back, because it's a lie. But these little scraggle cutters right here, they really won't cut through trees. But what they will do is protect your fucking frame, protect your fucking motors from breaking. Look at that, look at that, little scraggles, little scraggle cutters right there. Also, it's 16 by 16. I decided to go for motor. The motor pattern is 16 by 16. You can fit um, 1619 motors on there, but you can only use two screws. It's fucking whatever. But a lot of motors are 1616. The grinders are 1616. And I recommend the grinder motors for this frame. What else are we doing? I don't currently have a setup with the. Because with the back mounting options, the 2020 1616 in the back, you can also do flight controller and you can do. What the fuck is that called? A VTX. You can do VTX in the back. One of those square, if you got one of the square johns up mount. Here's a photo from Heli Nation who sells the frame that has it pictured with the um, VTX mountable in the back and the flight controller on the top. That's pretty fucking clean. Nice low profile 20 millimeter fucking standoff. So you can put bigger ones in it if you want, but I really like to keep mine. Maybe I shouldn't keep putting this, but I really like to keep mine low profile as fuck. So I'm using the 20 millimeter standoffs. I throw my tramp in the back, you know, throw my flight controller right there. What a great segue into talking about what I'm currently running. A few people asked me to do an updated uh, gear rates thing, and I don't want to do a whole video on it, so I'm just going to include it here at the end of the bot grinder frame thing. Here's what I use. 
batteries. I got these Rebels, I like these fucking Rebels. I had the Hypos from Murder Riot, I like the Hypos, but I broke all my Hypos. I just got these, 5S, from um, Fly By Drones, Henry Walderspoon. They're 5S, no hype, fucking pretty goddamn nice. Check these out, they're only like 20 bucks or some shit. Those are the batteries that I like, and the Hypos when I have them, but I broke them. Now on the frame, my GoPro mounts and shit, brain fucking 3D all the way. Look at this, brain 3D sent me this badass Rasta mount for my fucking hero, and these little fucking reefer leaf pot arms, arm guards, whatever. Thank you very much for brain 3D, that shit. It's so, it's so green. <laughs> these are the normal uh, session, uh, yeah, session GoPro mounts that they make, and there are also um, little front bumpers. This is all brain 3D. Uh, brain 3D doesn't make that, my buddy. Old head made me that. Shout out, old head. So when I use my session, I use this one. When I use my hero, I use this one. That's 3D shit. Components. Here's the thing. I really like the DYS V2, so I'm running the DYS V2 in this one. And this one, I also like the Bardwell, so I'm running the Bardwell flight controller in this one. I have a third quad somewhere. I try to keep three quads running at all times with fairly similar stuff, but I get two DYS V2s and two quads and a Bardwell in that quad. ESCs, I've really been digging these Wraith 32 uh, bits. They're like 35 amp, yeah, Wraith 35 amp, 32 bits. Uh, they have them on the Rotorite store. All this shit, actually, you can get on the Rotorite store. I'll put a link below of like all the stuff that I use that you can get if you want. Um, Wraith 35, 34 or 35 amp, I don't fucking know. They're 32 bit and they're over 30 amps. They're fucking nice though. Uh, I can actually show you something that I've been doing with them. I fucked it up, but it was Rick and Morty, right? That's tight, you can do that with 32 bits. So, ESCs, the Wraith 32 bits are what I like to use. Currently, I also have some Speedix and some other shit. I would actually like to make my own like nice ESC. If you guys wanna see that, let me know. Um, flight controller ESCs, I use my tramps. As far as the VTX, tramps all the fucking way. And what I'll usually do is mount my tramp right there, or on this one, I have it mounted uh, I wanted just a little board above my flight controller. You probably can't see it very well, but I have just a little board that goes above it, and I rest the tramp on that board. Or, or just stick it out the back, fucking whatever. And then I have um, my receiver, which is the XSR. I've used RXSRs, and they're good, but I feel like they're really fragile for me. I've broken a lot of RXSRs, so I went back to the XSR. That's what I use for my receiver. Uh, as far as cameras, I really like the Predator Mini. I started fucking with the Predator Mini. That shit's nice. I use my run cam minis uh, in a lot of the builds. I was using these Cadex, but I'm actually in the process of replacing them all with Fox Ears or run cams. Because they're kind of just riding the line for me. Like, they're not that bad, they're not that great, but I'm ready to have, I'm gonna get some fucking HDOs and I want a camera that'll, <laughs> you know, take advantage of that OLED screen. So, uh, it's been fun Cadex, but I want to up it to run cams and Fox Ears. As far as my VTX antennas, I really do like the immersion ones here. I get these with my tramps and shit. And also uh, for Pagodas, Race 412, the fucking homies, one of my sponsors for fucking ever, makes these $5 Pagoda antennas. Oh, I can't you see it. $5, they make these $5 Pagoda antennas that are fucking tough and $5 and really nice. Oh, and every rig, of course, has Uma Grip. Always, always use Uma Grip on all your rigs, that shit. Just fucking sick. Good job, Tommy. You made something awesome for the hobby that everybody needs to fucking use. Uh, okay, so that's all the gear that I'm using right now for my quads. Did I miss anything? Grinder motors, of course. Did we fucking talk about that? That's all right. Let's, um, that's it. That was it? That was so easy. Fuck yeah. Let's go fly. Oh, I guess we should tune the quad. All right, let me show you guys how uh, my rates and my fucking default go-to tune. It's really easy. Here's a computer screen. All right, this actually, uh, this quad I actually had set up just yesterday before I went out and flew it. And I said the same way I'm gonna show you right now how I set it up, same way how I did it yesterday and it flew fantastic with no adjustments at all. Let's jump into this shit. All right, what I do, I turn on D-Shot 600 because D-Shot 600 fucking rules. I set it to 8K, 8K. I turn off the accelerometer so you can arm when you're in a tree and get the fuck out of the tree. Then I turn everything off on here, except for I turn on the dynamic filter, anti-gravity, the OSD, and the air mode. And remember to always save and reboot 
if you make any changes on any page. The PID tuning, I will up my P's by 20, right? I don't touch the I's. I will up the D's by 10. I bump the RC rate to 105, the super rate to 79s, or whatever the fuck these are until they equal 1000, because I like my max degrees per second velocity thingy at 1000. So I used to not use RC rate and only use super rate, but now I like to use a little bit of RC rate because I like the way that it feels when I do the rolls. But I also put on a shit ton of expo. So 55, 0.55 expo is what I will normally run. And as you can see, the sticks don't do a damn thing until you get to the end of it right there. Um, the D set point transition, I will usually set to around 35 to 55 depending. And that is just going to, at the end of your rolls, make it a little bit smoother. It makes me, I, I'm so used to doing it that I have to turn this on. Uh, I set my anti-gravity gain up to 6, and anti-gravity, you know, just makes it so your nose doesn't dip on punch-outs, depending. I might have to actually up that when I'm doing 5S. Uh, I never really do any of this shit over here. I don't really do TPA, because I don't understand it, but APOC knows how, so I ask him about stuff. For modes, all I do is my arm and my turtle mode, or flip over after a crash. My OSD, I turn every motherfucking thing off, except I want to see my main battery voltage, and I like the little warnings. So if I'm not paying attention to my battery voltage, I will have a warning down here that will start flashing and saying low voltage, land now, shit like that, you know, battery low. I need that secondary warning, because I suck. But that's all I do, except, oh fuck, I forgot this part. This is very important. <laughs> my filter settings. Okay, after you do the PIDs, I hope you didn't skip, and I'm now missing this part, but after you do the PIDs, I go to my filter and I switch it from bi-quad to PT1 and I turn off all the notch filters and you know, make sure to save after you do everything. And that's all I do. Since I'm currently without a vehicle and have been for a while, my mode of transportation is my bicycle and this pretty fucking sweet electric longboard that I built. It was like a kit, like a $400 kit and I bought a deck and I built it. It's tight. Gets me around. Flying spots, you may ask. What do I like for flying spots? I prefer bandos and parks, but the closest place to my house, which is still a mile away that I can possibly fly, is this beautiful historic cemetery where nobody ever goes to visit relatives because the last person that died here was like 1900s. This thing is old as fuck. Nobody comes down here except my crackhead friend that lives in this little building right here. That's where he lives. Sometimes he comes out when we talk about drones, but he's he lives in that building. That's the only resident that's alive here. Nobody gives a fuck, so get off my fucking back about flying graveyards, bitch. <laughs>
so for real, this is for real, this is some real life shit. I was like, okay, I'm gonna do, do like the talking and then I'm gonna go to the flying and I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna talk about quad box and show you guys what's in the new quad box and then I get home and I look on the internet. Back. You can buy them from Rotorive. These are special to me because- Drew has already done it. Actually the Drew already did the unboxing of the box. That I did with Rotorive. So if you want to see a good unboxing of this box, which is what, fucking May or something, go to Drew's channel, but there's a shirt, there's some props, there's a DYS V2, there's some stickers, some uh, more props, and some skids, and an MQC thing, and some tweezers. That's my quad bucks, quad, that's my quad box, June or May or something unboxing. I also really just want an excuse to do this thing. I saw Drew do it, I saw Straight Edge FPV do it, and now I want to do it. How do you, all right. So you just do this. Yeah. That's wrong, that's wrong. <laughs> oh, look at that, that works. Cool, well, I actually like this shirt. I hate fucking white t-shirts, but I do like the design. I'm probably gonna dye it black or just wear it till it gets filthy or something. Uh, I think I covered everything I want to cover in this video. I probably didn't at all. I'm probably forgetting tons of shit, but uh, I'm gonna pop this in the old premiere and edit it and, you know, get really drunk because I have a drinking problem. Thanks for watching. Sorry, I didn't see you guys there. That was my bad.